All right, hey guys, we're back inside the kitchen. I am Rory McKernan. I'm Tommy Marquez. This is a recipe for a guy like me because I think that it's fairly easy. It's and it's kind of less less hands on. You could kind of throw this one in and go do something else if need be. This is Mama's healthy meatloaf that we're making. Um, pretty straightforward. You don't have to make a ton of substitutions. This one, meatloaf in general, is already pretty pretty solid in terms of. Uh, healthy options for it and we have all the ingredients laid out here. A couple minor changes that we'll talk about a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's get going. So we're gonna start by heating up this oil while we get to get to cutting up some stuff, right? Yeah, so, so we need a tablespoon of oil. I can do that. I'll get to work on the pepper. Am I ready to toss it in? Yeah. Okay, I would cool, so I, oil's already gone. Yeah, I'll do this while you do your garlic trick. Yeah. Sometimes this little trick's 50-50 on breaking up the garlic, so we're gonna smash it. So I put them in this container, and we're just gonna. So here's that minced garlic. We need about, this is a half teaspoon. That's nothing wrong with a little extra garlic. Most people think you have to use, what, 80-20 beef. Uh -huh. um, that is 93.7, so it's a lot leaner beef. We're gonna combine the, the pound of meat we have a cup of breadcrumbs that we're gonna add to the concoction too. Rory's shredding some zucchini. Should I shred um, it right into the thing? Yeah, for the most part, yeah, I think so. The recipe calls for three-fourths a cup of zucchini and three-fourths a cup of carrots, both shredded. As in true uh, Rory fashion, we're being a little bit, a little bit liberal there with our uh, it's carrots. How bad could it be? Yeah, that's true. So this is pretty much done right here. We have uh, a cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs. We'll toss that in there. Rosa, a fan of cooked onions, not a raw onion guy, so we had to, had to prime the pump with these things. You know me so well. Oh yeah. All right, get it in there. I almost feel like we should have a parental advisor here and you mix it. Ah! No, it's okay, it's fine, don't worry. There's a lot of vegetables. But you should be careful. There's a lot of vegetables, man. Almost forgot the eggs. We're, we're... You didn't almost forget them. You forgot them. Yeah, I definitely straight. forgot the eggs. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I never knew they existed. Oh, we got great <laughs> eggs here. Let's just forget them. <laughs> One thing that we can forget about here in California is all the good food we have. But Oh, now it's going to get real. Now I get yeah. it. Now, if I wasn't a believer until the eggs came in. Well, what's nice is that the eggs will kind of help bind everything. Definitely went a little heavy on the zucchini and carrots. So Told you, keep, man. keep that in mind if you're uh, making that at home. Like I said, always measure everything. Don't just eyeball it. I feel like, you know what? You know, what? what's That's the point of making art. food if it doesn't look cool too? That's modern art. Am I right? <laughs> all in there? Yep, all in here. So what'd you do? You, sp oh, you sprayed it yeah, down. I sprayed it with uh, the olive oil spray. We uh, preheated the oven to 400 which is why we're probably both sweating right now because it's just pumping heat out into here. Yeah, right but we're gonna put this in, in the oven at 400 for about 35 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna get this going. I got Lucy here, Rio down there. They're gonna help us make this ketchup. Here we got all of our ingredients laid out. Um, they'll probably sit there and wait for scraps in case we drop anything. Um, so we're gonna start, we're gonna mix it all together here in this bowl. We have 12 ounces of tomato paste. So we're gonna put that in there. And then we need, uh, what's that, four tablespoons apple cider vinegar. Four, nice. We have one tablespoon of mustard. We have a quarter cup and two uh, tablespoons of water that, or if you want for uh, you know simplicity, it's six total tablespoons of water. So we're gonna put that in there. So we have a little uh, spice concoction that we're gonna put in here. Within this little spice concoction, we have a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, we have a half teaspoon of cinnamon. We have a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. We're gonna put that in there. And that's pretty simple. Those are just a handful of ingredients here to make your own ketchup. It tastes sweeter than most ketchups in a different way, I guess. Oh, that's wow. Tasty. That's tasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, get the, um, you get the cinnamon in there. So when that bad boy comes out of the oven, I'm not gonna be here, but you're gonna save some of it for me and bring it to HQ with our ketchup. <laughs> That's my heart breaking. The recipe normally says, for the consistency that you might be a little bit more used to with ketchup, you can put it in the fridge overnight. So recommend making this maybe the night before or making a big batch for your week if it's something you wanna use a little bit more frequently. So we're gonna get this 
meatloaf out of the oven. And while, while it was cooking for the last 10 minutes or so, I put a little bit of the, uh, the uh, homemade ketchup on top because it was something my mom always did and it's something I always enjoyed, just baking a little bit of that, that uh, nice ketchupy flavor onto the top of the meatloaf. Mmm. Breadcrumbs. I love meatloaf. It's a nice hearty dish. Lean ground beef, keep the protein nice and high without going crazy on the fat. A nice touch with the zucchini and the carrots cooked in really nice. A good, nice little texture to help bind the meatloaf together. So that's it. That's Mama's Healthy Meatloaf with some homemade ketchup on the side. Uh, hopefully it's uh, a recipe that you guys get to try at home and uh, enjoy.